Praxis Church exists to live out the way of Jesus in all of life. In the winter of 2009, God stirred something in the hearts of my wife and I that led us to realize we were being called into God's mission to make disciples in the least churched, least religious region of our country, New England. In 2012, we were sent out by the Vineyard Church in Chester Springs to plant in Keene, a strategic city located in southwestern New Hampshire. Nothing about our move was easy, and saying yes to God certainly came at a cost. I remember putting our beautiful house up for sale, uh, stepping away from our good jobs, and saying see you later to those around us who would become like family. This was really difficult stuff. But we knew that the harder thing would be to know that we were called and ignore that call from God. You know, we just celebrated five years as a church, and a pastor friend of mine recently reminded me what a miracle it is that we even exist. Against all odds, against many trials, God has seen fit to persevere this faith community to reach more people with a life-changing message of the gospel. Over the past five years, Praxis has had a lot of opportunities to serve in our community. Each year we put on an egg hunt that simply blesses the families of our region. Each month, a team of volunteers serves at the community kitchen uh, designed to help the poor and the needy of our city. But beyond the service projects, beyond the events, we're learning what it looks like to be a family on mission who is shaped and formed by the gospel so that people in our city see Jesus in every part of life. One of my favorite aspects of doing ministry here is getting to see people who do not have a religious background introduced to Jesus. When I think about all that God has done and all that God wants to do, I get really excited. Yet there's this part of my heart that aches for our city and its brokenness. Right now we're facing one of the largest drug epidemics in our nation's history. There are people that are living without any hope. And when I think about all that there is to do, sometimes I get really overwhelmed. But then I'm reminded of the one who never gets overwhelmed. Ephesians 3 says, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen.